your unique story our global audience global one media hello and welcome to another episode of our stocks to watch series from global one media where we speak with company leaders across the board to help you our viewers make informed and intelligent investment decisions i am munir barazi your business analyst and host and today i am pleased to welcome sophie caesar who is leading the investor relations division at canadian north resources or cnri an exploration company that focuses on highly prospective properties in canada including the ferguson lake project the company is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange as CNRI and on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange as EO0. Hello, Sophie. It's good to have you with us today. Hi, Munir. Nice to see you again. Welcome. So there have been many exciting announcements coming in from CNRI. Let's start with the first one. You've closed a private placement of common <laughs> shares, bringing in gross proceeds of $2.7 million. Evidently, these shares are appealing to investors. Can you elaborate on this announcement and its significance? Of course, Manir. So um, just to clarify, so these are flow through shares that we raised and we raised them at two dollars and 70 cents. And just to give a little bit of perspective to the investor, we're now currently trading at 250 today. Um, and a lot of uh, I would say all of the people that came in, the funds that came in to this uh this raise, this private placement, they're all actually previous investors that invested in our flow through financing that we did at the end of 2022. So just to give you, just to give, you know, our investors and your viewers um, a picture of it, it's that renewed confidence that they had in the fact that we did what we said we were going to do. Uh, we did, you know, we did go ahead with our spring drill program. We have an aggressive drill program now, and they're very excited to see us move to uh, an updated 43101 and then a pre-feasibility study. Wonderful. So it seems that investors have a long-term commitment to CNRI. Um, also, insiders from the company have purchased shares. This clearly indicates that company officers have faith in where the company is heading. Can you tell us more about this transaction and what inspired company leaders to have a bigger stake in the company? Um, so there was a significant amount of insider buying uh, 150,000 shares in the month of July. And I think that what that uh, shows is that the uh, it was actually done by our chairman, Mr. Lee Shim, and it shows his his belief in the project and what we're doing moving forward. And, you know, as well as what the team is doing, the team is currently up on site and we have five drill runnings. Uh, drills running currently. So it, it shows his belief in what we're doing in the, the progress that we're making and the future of the company and the results moving forward. I'll talk to you about this progress uh, in a bit, but there was another announcement as well. Uh, you've disclosed a private placement aiming for gross proceeds of up to $5.2 million. Tell us a bit more about this and how the funds will be allocated. You're currently working on the Ferguson Lake property. Tell us more about its status and future plans. Um, so this other private placement that we announced, that is actually charity flow through. Uh, so we're currently in the process of raising that. So I think that we'll probably see, you know, um, some news on that shortly. And then if we look at um, what we raised for the regular flow through, what we plan to raise uh, for the charity flow through, we'll probably see um, $8 million dollars close to $9 million that's going to come into the company, um, you know, with the month of July and in the next uh, coming weeks. And that includes, Manir, uh, I want to mention that our insiders um, actually exercised uh, $2.1 million worth of warrants that we have. Um, and they actually, it was an early exercise. Those warrants are due uh, December 31st of 2023. And the price on those is $1.50. So again, 
to further illustrate, I think that that shows that insiders believe in the company, that, you know, there's continued investment coming in, both from insiders, both from current shareholders and from other um, shareholders and investors coming into the, the stock as well. So all indicators are showing that you are moving in the right direction. What do all of those exciting updates mean for uh, CNRI's uh, current shareholders and also those on the fence? Um, I think what's important to note is that all of this money, especially that's coming into flow through, that is going to go to the exploration program. So, you know, we did do the 18,000 meters last year and we announced that we're doing 20,000 meters this year. We're well into that. Um, our expectation is that we are going to complete the 20,000 meters this year. Um, up, I guess maybe September, October, we'll complete that. And then for shareholders, what they're going to see coming forward is the uh, results on that. So the the assay results, the the expansion of our resource, the update of that 43101. Um, and I think that that what it means for shareholders and probably people sitting on the fence, it should give them some comfort level, number one, that we're doing what we said we were going to do. Uh, number two, that regardless of current market conditions, we're able to raise money and we're able to continue drilling. I mean, we have five drills running on site right now. Um, that's, you know, it's, I'm not going to say it's unheard of for other companies currently right now, but it does set us apart. Um, and that, you know, that we're well financed, that current shareholders believe, uh, current investors believe in what we're doing. So if anyone were sitting on the fence and wondering, you know, is this a company that I want to invest in currently? I think that they can look at what we've done in the last 18 months since going public in April of 2022 and all of the great news and potential that we have moving forward. Well, you have been posting consistently positive updates uh, for the last uh, month. Uh, so I'm sure there is a lot of uh, reason to be optimistic. Sophie Caesar of Canadian North Resources, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing all of those updates with us. We look forward to sharing more with our audience. Thanks, Munir. Thank you to our investors as well.